Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Got a very important video for you today. I'm going to talk about how you can make your battery last a lot longer. Yeah, so basically when your battery's cold, the chemistry slows down dramatically. Okay, so you imagine it's all frozen inside there, really cold, like below 10, 10 degrees, especially in between zero and five and anything under zero, you're absolutely screwed. So the lithium ions that go into the battery when charging it can't move properly. And instead of going into the anode to give you all that juicy power on the trail where they're meant to live, they basically get stuck on the surface and it's called lithium plating. And it's kind of like a, a metal layer that gets formed in your battery. If you ever wondered why they lose capacity, that's it, because the capacity is getting shrunk by this lithium painting it's effectively getting smaller that's why it loses its capacity it's really quite interesting it permanently reduces the battery there's no way to reverse it once it's done and it raises the internal resistance as well which then means it's harder to charge it gets hotter can lead to work the worst cases lead to fires and stuff you've heard about that so yeah it's, it's quite an quite an important one the scary bit is is how quickly it degrades if you are charging it cold like uh, you've just got off a freezing ride it's winter now you your bike gets to the van and you charge it in the van the van's freezing literally it can degrade twice as fast and if you're charging it below freezing blimey you can lose 10 to 20 percent of the capacity in 50 to 100 charges which is absolutely bonkers it we, we just do it without thinking about it you get off a ride you're freezing you take the battery out or you you charge it in the the actual bike or you get the bike back to your shed or your garage you stick it on charge and you forget about it and it's just getting damaged and we've not even thought about the process basically so here's what you can do to fix it and make your battery last longer so take your battery indoors let it get up to room temperature let it get all nice and mushy inside and warm and therefore the the ions that and stuff that i mentioned earlier they can just get into the battery efficiently without doing the lithium plating uh keeping its maximum capacity and obviously making your rides last longer it's as simple as that so think of it a good analogy think of it like a little baby keep it nice and warm and it'll last longer imagine a baby at freezing it's not going to last very long is it do you know what i mean so that's it keep it nice and warm now i know some people do have different bikes so i did a poll on this because i was thinking about doing a video so i thought i'll do a poll first because maybe the video's not relevant but i'll just read that to you now so we've got 40 votes so 37 percent the highest one already do this uh i bring the battery indoors to charge at room temperature but that still leaves two-thirds of people doing different things so we've got a 12 percent the battery stays in the bike but i i move the whole bike indoors good one as long as it's not too muddy my missus would kill me well I, I have brought the muddy bike indoors on occasion uh charge the battery in a cold garage or shed without warming it up there's the big one 32 percent of people are doing that and i was one of them <laughs> until the last few days built-in battery I have no choice, I charge it inside the bike. There, your Amflow users specialized. I know the Amflow, that's probably the big one, isn't it? Yeah, and if you've got a, an Amflow or a fixed battery, uh, just let it warm up first in the van before charging it. Or a diesel heater for your garage if you've got a freezing one. I'm getting a diesel heater soon for in here. So just get your little diesel heater, make sure you put the uh, hose out the wall and then just charge it bring it up to a more because i imagine you could even if it's freezing outside you have a little heat you could get you could get your garage up to 10, 10 degrees and then charge it from there so not as easy but still doable another thing you can do if your bike's got a slow charging mode charge it in that mode if it's uh if it's cold because that reduces lithium plating because there's less less of that going through that's another one uh duh, duh, duh. also you could uh, bike cover keep an ambient te temperature around the bike itself in the garage yeah so there's different bits and bobs and you know how to use google and chat gpt just be mindful of not charging it in the cold just to wrap up then easy to remember cold battery plus charging equals permanent irreversible damage uh don't charge it in the cold especially not below five degrees 
Uh, anything in between 5 and 10 might be getting a little bit of damage still, but ideally charge your battery 10 plus up to 20 degrees if you can, ideally indoors. And don't start a ride with your battery freezing as well if it's been in the back of the van. Just uh, keep it on your front seat, let it, let it get nice and warm with the heater. <laughs> Excellent. All right, uh, so hope that helps uh, for those users that are currently doing it the bad way. Hopefully that'll uh, enlighten you and give you longer rides in future, basically. So please like, share and subscribe. Take care, everyone. Grip it, rip it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.